All right, you guys, today we are obviously got a new vehicle in. My uh, wife traded in her red JL for the JT. And we're just going to kind of go over some of the quick differences I've noticed off the bat uh, for some of the upgrades that you might have had. Um, off the bat, we were able to move over the skid plates for both the front and the rear. I'm going to show you those. That one was on the front. And there's the one on the rear. Both those fit without a problem. And while under here, I'm just going to give you the other view of the uh, front skid plate here. And with all you back, it obviously is catching a lot of dirt. Uh, we tried to wash it out the best we could, but it's going to have to go get a, a much better pressure washer. But there is the rear skid plate for the uh, rear differential. The next item that we'll quickly go over is going to be the spider web shade. That does not fit um, due to obviously the length difference, so that's going to be sold. Uh, sadly, we will have to get another one for the uh, JT version for the truck. We do like having that. Uh, the next thing is uh, Rusty's Off-Road. You've seen a couple of my reviews on these and what I did for it. Um, obviously, it does not fit. I have questioned at possibly looking at taking this bracket off and maybe using this in a different way in the truck bed, but we do have the cargo cover on it so if we do have it it's going to go down on the inside um, that is one of those bad parts if you followed me on my emergency lights video um, for being first responders um, i was able to bring those over and what i've done just like on my ram 1500 that's my vehicle is they are right there in the bumper and that does kind of help cover um, that part of it for when we do pull up on an emergency uh, make sure your state has it legal for work here for us and I did forget to mention when I was talking about the emergency lights here, those are also the reverse backup lights. They're the dual uh, lights that work like that. Please check one of my other videos out to um, figure out a little bit more of that if that is of interest. Um, I know some people have reached out to me about those. Uh, they are super bright and give you a lot of light to back up with. Now, one of the problems that we did have, though, and excuse the mess in the garage, is the rear door um, storage rack that we had from Tuffy Security. It also doesn't work because you've got a truck bed now. It's got to sell that. The other disappointing thing is the engine skid plate. We had just purchased this. I think we'd only been wheeling two or three times with it and it does not fit even though it is the exact same engine, the 3.6. Um, the engine mounts are actually different. Um, I'll try to get you guys a screenshot of why, um, but let me sneak up underneath the Jeep and I'll show you what the Gladiator version looks like. Alright, now this part I do apologize for. We just got it and decided to take it off-roading, so things are a little dirty up here. But mainly if you see right here, this is going to be your new engine mounts. The way that these engine mounts are, are different than on the JL. And due to that, it does not fit. Before, they had more of a flat uh, part coming down, and that's what that bolted to. So I'm not sure what we're going to do for Alright, here is a view of the motor mounts from the JL. Um, as you can see, um, just the way that it's connecting is different. I do apologize, I'm having to pull up pictures from the actual install manual from the company um, just because I don't have one accessible right now at this time. But that would be where those bolts normally go. And let me click over to the other one, and that's going to be your passenger side. Um, as you can tell, when going back to, to mine, there is a huge difference. Now I can say one of the things I'm really happy with. My wife has always been an adamant soft top person. She did not want the hard top. And quite frankly, we never had the garage space to put a full-size uh, four-door uh, hard top up on the roof to have that dual climate. It would be nice for about the three months of the year here in North Carolina that it does get cold enough to use that. So what we were able to do is actually set up a um, strap for the... Uh, hard top in a way that's kind of unusual. What we decided to do is actually hang this window to the ceiling and the, the top of it actually hanging down. Um, reason being is I've got a lot of other space on the walls for tools and other stuff, but this was as simple as putting a single bolt up through that strap, basically pulling the strap down and over. And this is actually off of an 18 wheeler, it's how they use to strap stuff down. And again, I put that bolt through the ceiling, and it does take two of us to do it, which the uh, most of the hard top lifts you can get only take one. Um, this one would require two of us to just kind of lift it in place, but then we can tighten it down. And the nice part is this stays up out of the way. Um, and the lowest point on it here is 
um, right about here at about a five and a half foot mark. Um, but we've got these movable, they're on wheels, so we can pull those out and get that hard top down real quick and easy. Um, and then the tops are actually stored up on top there. These are some racks that hang from the ceiling, so that's just how we were able to make things work. Also, the rear lower control arms, these are going to be different. The ones we had on the JL, we were not able to keep because they were not going to transfer over. Uh, the ones on the front are the same. Um, but I actually found a kit that basically is almost the same price as what the individual ones were for the last set. And it comes with everything we need. So instead of worrying about taking the front ones off my old Jeep, I just sold it with both of those lower ones on. Um, and I'll be putting new ones on this one. Uh, obviously, we were able to transfer over our rims and tires. We had the 35s on it, so we were happy to bring that over. Um, I don't remember um, the name brand for what the mirrors are, but these are mirror brackets that we have for when the doors are off, which is most of the time. Um, they did transfer right over, no issues, and all the front grill, because obviously most of the stuff in the front is the same, except for, like I mentioned, the way the motor actually mounts up. All right, you guys, this is the very last uh, carryover item that I've got, and it's gonna be the floor mats. The uh, back seat, as we obviously know, is a little different. What I did was I took out the rear box, as you see here on the ground, it was just the four bolts and what I did is I did have to make a little tiny splice in there on both sides and pull that box out uh, this is more temporary as we are gonna be doing Raptor liner in this just like we did on the JL with the line X uh, we will be doing this one ourselves this go around just uh, seems to kind of work out a little better for the price and everything um, but this does work if you're willing to use it the holes don't line up they are off just a little bit uh, this one was right over here um, but the nice part is it is going to be usable at least for a little bit of time to keep some of that dirt out. So that is kind of the quick overview. Uh, I'm obviously going to make some more videos as we start getting some more parts in to show you guys the differences in some of the JTs. Uh, obviously, I don't do this for money or for any of that type of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, follow, but if you find it interesting, great. If there's stuff you want to see about the JT, uh, I am very familiar with both the uh, the TJs, the JKs, JLs, and JTs now, um, just because we've had them through the years. So uh, reach out to me if there's anything particularly you would want to see. This truck actually has quite a bit in it. Um, some of the packages. I will be going over the forward facing camera, and we have ordered the uh, bull bar that goes up over the winch to see about how that angle is actually going to affect it. Um, that's one thing I've seen is when you're using the front camera, is how bad that view is. So I'll go ahead and probably be putting that in here uh, on one of my next videos once we get that in the mail. Thanks you guys.